everyone, my name is Professor PC. Nice to meet you guys today. And today is our Silk Hua story. Silk Hua story when silk meets the road. Silk in Chinese history is the symbol of China, while the Hua in Chinese word means China. So, a Silk Hua story is a story and a guidebook uh, that prepared by me for you guys to enter the hall of Chinese history. So, I may share all the things I learned about Chinese history and all the things I learned about Chinese culture or stuff. This will uh, do you go good if you want to go to China in the future. And so now I, I'm not going to say uh, anything more. Um, let me first introduce myself. I'm Professor PC and I'm very glad to cooperate with all of you guys uh, behind the screen. Thank you all of you and now we can start. So from the first lesson studying, we've already known some basic custom and things about Chinese history. But now we will begin the step by step and let us learn something about Chinese history. And so, next time I assign an, a, a homework for you guys to learn all dynasties in Chinese history. But this story that I'm going to tell you about is actually in a time without any dynasty. It is a time of chaos. There were also original rulers of Central Plain. Uh, at the time, at the Central Plain of China, a great flood occurred uh, and harmed the life of many people and their farm life, uh, farmland. So the government, uh, no, it's not a government, it's just a basic uh, association of local people appointed uh, this man Dai's uncle as the man to in charge of controlling flood. So now his uncle used a basic and very normal ways he built them and to stop this flood. First it's effective and it's useful but then the flood becomes um, stronger and stronger and destroy his dam uh, very fast and cost the life of many people. So the rulers and local people are very angry. So he put him into the death um uh, to the death prison and uh, kill him at last. Now, as his relative, Dao was appointed as a man to uh, manage the water. First, he decided that his uncle's way is not possible because no flood could be stormed simply by building these dams because they can only stop these things for a little time. But now, Darius uh, got a very new idea. He got tunnels uh, and waterways drawn from these flooding rivers to the lakes and to the sea. So the flooding and the current, strong current, will be distracted from the river and was moved into uh, all of these small and single uh, waterways into the lakes and uh, lakes and seas that can distress the stress on the lake and the dam belongs alongside this lake and rivers. Now, so but he had to build these waterways first. With his labors and local people, he started his journey of effort and all of these things. He worked on beside the river every day and worked with the normal labors. He won the respect and the confidence of all of the people. In this time, he's really very busy. He had to manage all the building of all the waterways. Several times he passed through his own family and own house. He don't even have time to see, see the newborn baby of him uh, himself. That spirit inspired people to build all these tunnels in very fast speed despite their poor tours and stuff. Now, after several years work, these uh, waterways were easily built by the efforts of all of the local people. Now, the water, was, the water problem was forever solved and once there, were, uh, there will be a flood, all of the water rushing down from the uh, side of the river will be distracted into different lakes and waterways. Now, there will be a, no longer a problem for guys to stop all these floods. So now, people will uh, start to respect this man. And when the hail of this group and all of the people died, he promised him that he will erect him as the new king. 
and um, actually there are no kings at that time and the, um, the crown was passed by rulers to rulers they only passed to the one who was wisdom and respect and Da Yu was that kind of people what he did in several years actually inspired all the people on Central Plain and everyone was convinced that what he, uh, his ability would take them when if he was erected by the king now he became the king and also the leader of all of the people in central China. But that's not enough. When he was dying, he passed his uh, crown to his own son. That was forbidden at that time. But um, since he was really respectful, so people didn't stop him. So his son became the king later and formed the first dynasty of China called Xia. So uh, his son actually became the first. Uh, first uh, uh, ruler and first emperor of Chinese history. That is because of a man like him actually make all the people believe that every member of that family will be good and will do great things for him. Now, uh, I will talk about something about myself because uh, it is said my uh, ancestor is came from the family of Xia uh, and also the family of uh, uh, Da Yu because uh, at the uh, final time of the Xia dynasty, uh, the government lost the support and some of the kings and uh, uh, queens they flush into the rural areas and maybe my ancestors was one of them, but it's just beyond our topic. Now we're gonna talk what Dari brings us is not only a new way to control the flood, it's also a revolution of the system in China. He told all the people about new kinds of things, and he began the time of China being ruled by great emperors and kings for nearly 2,000 years. And till this day, it has changed. So Dari was a man that is of a revolutionary importance on, in Chinese history and there should be respect of, by all the people in China and all the people that know about engineering and architecture because he's just a genius on both political politics but also on engineering. He paid all of this effort to uh, protect his people. Now, uh, now uh, this is the time for us to stop and I might ask you guys to remember some things and to remind themselves to be remembered that uh, you may guess something where uh, what anything will happen after Dayu passed his crown to his son and uh, pass his crown to the son. You may imagine it and tell you next time. Uh, tell me next time. I will explain this to you next time. Thank you everyone and this is the end of uh, the class. And uh, goodbye guys, this is Silk Cross Story, when Silk meets the road. Goodbye everyone, bye bye.